Hey everyone, I'm Alfred and welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. Um, I have here open Sky Studios wiki page. I was reminded that they made a game called I May Add a Game with Zombies in it. Uh, misspelled horribly and written with Leet Speak. Um, and that apparently won like a bunch of awards and it's why people know about them. And then there are two dishwasher games, Dishwasher Dead Samurai and Dishwasher Vampire Smile. Um, and all of those are just James Silva by himself, except for the second dishwasher game, which is him and Dustin Berg. Um, and then he made Charlie Murder, which is the game I was thinking of, where you play as a garage band with him and his wife. And then they made one I've never heard of called Time Viking and Space Raptor, all caps, no spaces. Um, and apparently the reason that this, that Salt and Sanctuary was originally just on the PS4 was because uh, Microsoft cut the support. Um, and then they haven't done anything in six years. And like at first I thought like, wow, has Scott Studios not done anything? And like, no, they actually just haven't done anything. And it's not that they haven't done anything. They've presumably been working on... Oops. I can continue. Thank you very much. Oh, you get some decent... Nice. Presumably, um... It's not that they've, like, you know, not been doing anything. It's that they've just been working on this. Uh, and what this is, is... Nice. They're making a game called Salt and Sacrifice. Presumably a sequel to this. This note's back. Cool. So one thing that I was kind of wondering if they would do would be, um... Like, in making a sequel to this. Like, I'm calling it a sequel, but it might not literally be a sequel. Because a lot of people were really disappointed by the fact that Dark Souls was a sequel. And, like, I know that sounds weird to say, because now we're, you know, up to Dark Souls 3. And it's like, people love Dark Souls, though. Who doesn't like Dark Souls? Skull Batwing. All oh, right. But, like, when Dark Souls 2 came out, there were a lot of people who were, like, actually, like, pretty disappointed that Dark Souls, like, is so... Dark Souls 2, specifically, is so, like, similar to the first game. Let's just sit. Why not, you know? Uh, but, yeah, there were a lot of people who were, like, upset, like, legitimately upset that Dark Souls 2 is so similar to the first one. And part of that is because a lot of FromSoft games, part of this, were not really connected. Like, Demon Souls and Dark Souls are the same DNA. Like, those games are, you know, brothers, but they're not sequels to each other. Oh, I guess this is just it, then. Cool. He dropped a key, though, so he, doesn't, he hasn't, like, stopped my progress. Oh, cool. Useful. So what about you? Fortress Key. Okay, you look too pretty to be an enemy. Yeah, I was right. Friend or fool? <laughs> Is that asking me if I'm going to be this person's friend or a fool? I suppose it's like fire... Oh my god, just a free level right there? I guess it's to fill out your stats then. Makes sense. It's like Fire Emblem rules, I guess. Greetings, Traveler. Do you have a quest? Yes, I do. Asking a princess, hmm? I haven't seen any, but don't lose hope. It's good to have a quest. You want to know what mine is? Yes, I do. Excellent. Uh, invade the castle to the east, defeat the guardian, and slay the dragon. Castles must be invaded, and dragons must be slain. Must not there? Getting in is a different story. There's a bridge, but it's missing bits. There's another way in, but it's not easy. I saw a passage beneath a fortress you emerged from. The shortcut door. Perhaps it leads through a village of sorts. Shortcut connected to the beach of the village, but it's been barred. Perhaps you can unlock it. I think I passed another door as well. I've heard something about a jester. Jester knows ways to get places no one else can. It's easy to claim something. Until you can back up your claims, you're just a rumor monger. Cool. 
Glad I checked. Yep. Interesting. So there's a... Let me finish my tangent on Dark Souls and sequeling. Oh, this is a dev one. Bandits Pass. See, so yeah, there were a lot of people who were actually like... I'll come back here later. Decently upset that Dark Souls 2 is so, like, connected. Secret door. Oh, yeah, it is. Secret left. No use. It is dark in here, brother. Oh, and it's a shortcut anyway, so not much to do in here right now. But yeah, I guess some people were just, like, set up for the, by the fact that, um... Like, Dark Souls and Demon Souls are so different. Self-bow. Nice. Got another shortcut. I don't really need it because they're... There's that, um, other sanctuary right over there. But... Maybe it won't carry over my stuff. Ooh. Another torch. Secret door. Huh. Thank you. Whoa. Wow. My path just blew open. Lightning bolt. Presumably another spell. What the... My god. Ooh. That isn't good. Armor Might has stolen a lot of salt. That isn't good, man. That's bad. That's real, real bad. But yeah, the reason that, like, Dark Souls 1 and 2 are so similar is because 2 is on the box. Like, that's the real reason why it's like that. Okay, I can give another shot on this. Soldier Spear and Salt Bundle. So it's this way? Oh, it's making my controller shake. Hi. Ooh. What the hell? Oh, man. Okay, so it's only bosses that do that that save it forever that's painful that hurts but that's okay i know i know not to go that way now until later but yeah so many people are just like so concerned with having like you know new sequel stuff you know that's what they want Let's see. Take oath. Devil's light. Denounce it and become an apostate. I need more salt. But I've got a black pearl here. That costs two. And that's endurance. 
You're a stranger to Devara's light. Yeah. Pilgrims of the Godless Devara. Goddess Devara, illuminator of all. Who are you? In darkness, chaos dwells. Within chaos, there is no hope. And at the sun sets, we see your light flicker in chaos and torches. But then on the next day is her blessing. Chaos is quelled, order is restored. Those who don't follow her are welcome. We see to it that you receive rest and resupply. Pray to her at the earthen vessel. The water she pours will cleanse the shadows from your heart. Oh, and it's given me a thing as well. Stone cell sword. Ah, oh, weapon seller. Who is that guy who came in here? Was that just a player? Alright, shortcut. But yeah, like, that's the thing, like, with a sequel. Like, calling it Dark Souls 2 means that it should have some connection. Like, now we understand that, like, if Miyazaki wants to tell a different story and do a different thing, he'll call it something, like, completely different and alien. Like, you know, he's not going to make a sequel to Dark Souls and Bloodborne. That's why it's called Bloodborne. And Bloodborne, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, uh, and Sekiro are all completely different and alien. And, like, I feel like the only reason that we have Dark Souls 3... What is this? It's clearly different from the background. And it's, like, standing here. I feel like the only reason that we have Dark Souls 3... Flanged Mace. Let's give that a shot, shall we? Woodsman's Axe. Flanged Mace. Very simple move set. I can give that a shot. Rock with that for a little. Hello, friend. Trinkets to sell. Trinkets for coin. I'm happy you came along. Gather things, trinkets and such. Trinkets for gold, that's what I've got. Trinkets for coin. How'd you end up here? I stowed away. Sold trinkets in Tainbenir. Tainibir. Trinkets for coin. So poor. Talk of wealth in Karhai. Even beggars, beggars like me, you've got manservants there, yeah, they say. Sort of way sailed, and then the storm. Imagine the surprise in the sailors' faces, seeing the likes of me and the wreckage of them with all them honest men. <coughs> Pardon me. All of us floating in the sea, clean to plague, shivering in the icy cold. Not sure how many made of this to shore. Shivering, shivering shore. Trinkets I find here, and they do sell, they do. Doing nicely, I am. Be able to buy my escape. Somehow, somehow. Somehow. Lock of hair. Soldier's memento of a deceased loved one. Held the promise of a return. Its memories can be used by a blacksmith to upgrade weapons. Endless fang. A fang and left behind by a vanquished beast. Its lifespan must reach back to ancient time things. Far beyond that of its owner. Bolt. Stained page. And beggar's gear. And doppelsoldner cuirass. Class 2 heavy armor. So it's even heavier. And I can't even wear it yet. But that's okay. So I have Water of Blessing now. Does that do a different thing? File of Incandescent Liquid. Its colors shift like a prism. Quaff it to restore HP and gain seconds of divine protection. Oh, so they all have passives as well. Interesting. What the fuck is that? Okay. It's not too scary. I have a helm splitter now. In the words of my man Sonic, probably gotta be careful not to fall off here. This thing works.
I can't attack as often, but I'm liking the damage. Village of Smiles. <laughs> You're a son of a bitch. Oh. When killed by a trap, your salt is a thing. It materializes as an otherworldly creature. So says this here. Oh, and there's another thing over there as well. There's a lot of art assets in this game. Like, it's been years, but if I remember correctly, dishwasher kind of looks a little samey. Not like super samey. Oh, these drop those things. He's just selling them so you can get more of them. They must upgrade like a default, like early game weapon. Anyway, the reason that I was talking about the Dark Souls sequels is because the next thing that Ska Studios is working on is called Salt and Sacrifice. And they have not called it Salt and Sanctuary 2. There's fog here. Does that mean something? Do I get an ability here? Hmm. Oh, I missed this. Stone... G <laughs> Damn good. Stone guide. Mm -hmm. I don't find bonus. And shield block bonus. Interesting. Let me see about upgrading, huh? I'm kind of wondering if I can get to the point where I will always have the ability to, like... Okay. Lock of hair and salt. Another lock of hair. Okay, I was right, so... Oh, uh, I see. It's probably a later thing that drops those a little more reliably. Bar's filling up. What the? Oh, that was my salt demon. All right. Yow. Well, that didn't go as planned, but that's okay. Let's... Oh, it's you. Wow, you don't give a shit. He charges his attacks as well. Wow. Is that a mini boss? Because that dude's pretty for real. I'm going to double back. And I can't remember that trap. Otherwise, I'll look like a real ass. Okay. Oh, there's a little bar underneath your salt that gets filled. That's useful. That's very useful. All right, where am I putting this thing? 
Berserker. Hammers and axes. Two points of strength. Heavy armor. Oh, I can save it. Heavy mace fighter. Great hammers and great axes. And a point of strength. And this will grant me some decks. Which I can use to get more decks. I can start to... Wow, this is... Uh, this is really in-depth. It'll be really good to get this. But I'm not really, like, marrying myself to a weapon here. And, like, if I'm going to get a point of strength, I may as well get a point of strength generic. Because, like, that isn't better. Praise Moon. Dead. Hope you have fun. Thank you. Not now. Oh, they're saying come back to the shortcut door. Ooh, a red shard as well. So I guess those must be pretty common drops. That's kind of the thing. If you have a healing item like that, it usually pays for it to be either very cheap or very commonly dropped. Yeah, that guy looks like he hasn't come back. So, traps, huh? Can't be that simple, can it? Ooh, lock of, three locks of hair. The little, s ooh, the little like snap zoom. Try here, downfall. I assume that means just fall down instead of like someone's downfall, you know. Hmm. Nice. What? Run peasants here. Their damage isn't bad. Fine mesh Pelterion. What? Cotton trousers. I really do like the look of that. I'm gonna have to keep that on, I'm sorry to say. Fine Mesh Pelterion. Oh, maybe it's a weapon. That looks cool. What's the scaling on this guy? Uh, E and C. Okay. What about you? Very clean. Wow. That's a lot of salt. It's a uh, bad time to try a new weapon I'm not familiar with. Let's just swap back, shall we? I love a good flanged mace. Maces with just like the round heads are kind of dumb. If you have like a little like ring on that though, they're pretty cool. Nice. Oh, the blood. Bata swing.
feral beast tooth. No charms. I do like the idea of using a spear, but I don't know if it's like for me, you know? Bill of Return. This is a machine. This is an auto crossbow. Okay, another boss. And a fused metal ring. Increases endurance. Nice. <coughs> Pardon me. Some may remember at the very end of my uh, most... Hmm? What is it? Gray pearl? Oops, what did I do? I don't need these right now. I'll put on red shard, though. Yeah, what's a gray pearl? Oh, these are prayers. Wow, you can just hot swap them on the fly, too. Ghastly Gourd. Oh, God. Yeah, it's the helmet. Mad Queen Lania was as bloodthirsty as she was eccentric. I'm trying to read my pumpkin. That's... That's really bad. Saltless has stolen my salt. Huh. Oh, while I'm here, I should spend some money so I lose less. Yeah. Probably could have gotten even more if I hadn't died those times. Alright. Bat. Secrets are right. God damn, they have been on fire with these things. Wait, didn't I... Wasn't I in here? No. Kismet stone and bundle of salt. Delicate ring card of a solid chunk of pressed gem. Adventurers always seek pilfered prizes, but it seems that if slain foe's spoils are all trash or treasure, whether it's trash or treasure comes down to luck. Increases item find. I always do like, um getting out of the early game because like early game in a souls game is is bad because like i know that the the armor that you have and the weapon that you have can beat the final boss with and in dark souls like the long sword is actually the best sword and like maybe that's kind of fucked up that the best weapon is one that you get at the very start of the game But what do I know? We can go this way, actually. Okay. All right. Wasted my stamina there because I didn't know my... Oh, this just goes here. Okay, so I don't need to do that really complicated hop jumpy. <laughs> that feels so good. So, so very good. <laughs> I 
It gives me a pop for zero assault. Okay. Did it find the first time? Let's make sure we don't screw it up this time, huh? So the saltless have taken my stuff. That is so much salt. That's really painful. I suppose I'm salty now, huh? I'm gonna stop going that way. I know I'm gonna lose that salt, but I have no guarantee if I could even get it back to begin with. Do those guys get stronger based on how much of your loot they're carrying? Yeah, I don't know if I finished my thought process, but I'm pretty sure that the new Salt and Sanctuary game will not be connected to the next one, or this one, because it's not called that. Oh, damn. That's a habit I have to get back into. Because in Blasphemous, like, for the first few episodes, like, I never hit the, uh, the, sp the, the special secret kill thingy. I didn't even see that guy. Oh, hello there. I'm in a weird situation because like the heal is always amazing actually you know what no it is a very well balanced situation now that I think about it because the heal being so good oh conduit of mind extreme focus maintain spell casting to the past the point of normal exhaustion locks minimum stamina one third of one Oh, I'm losing stuff when I die. Look at my health bar. All right, this is going to go get cashed in. And then when I come back down, I'm going to go left, I think. Have I talked about how much I love the idea of a church of the n might of humanity? Because one of the things is, like, in Dark Souls, you usually throw your lot in with, you know, a god. Or the power of the soul in your own Spartanus. Hmm? Oh, I don't have this one. Cool. Oh, nice. Cool. And then I can just sink my money into, uh, into salt pouches, because it doesn't look like those go away, but maybe they do. Yeah, so like, 
the one like magic that isn't related to something else is sorcery, which is based on the power of the soul. And like, I'm not entirely sure how that works because isn't the soul a different thing and it doesn't work that way, but whatever. So what is going on over here, guys? Curiosity. What? Are you crucified? What creature persists in the face of such suffocating despair? The others have begun to kneel. Will it join them? No, I will not kneel. Such a brave, foolish curiosity. We'll struggle then, and it will bleed and fall. And one day when it finds itself beaten and broken, gasping for air, choking on its blood and tears, that will be the day it kneels, and I will consume it. You're lucky you're a scarecrow, you son of a bitch. Lobster hands. Anyway, but there's one like type of magic that is that doesn't fit in with the others. Uh, and it's pyromancy. Blade Wraith is what that thing is called. And it dropped a rib of its own. I feel like I should look into the camera and be like, like my face will turn into that of like a mule or like a lollipop and it'll say sucker on the screen, like in a Looney Tunes. It's a classic bit. All right, trap one. I feel like I'm gonna be late on that sometimes, but I'm I as long as I hit dodge, I feel like I never am. Like it's actually decently uh forgiving on the dodgery. You poison? I always really liked the life gem system in 2 because of how like harsh the poisoning was. Cuz like I really feel like I can deal with poison when I have like an easy constant form of health regeneration. Well, good hell. Heater shield. I mean, I'm not using shields, but. Oh, this is where it is. Ceremonial shield. Uh huh. <laughs> so, the fact that I'm wearing this means that all those corpses strung up outside of the thing over there in last episode. Must have been player corpses. They got me again. But it looks like putting on that helmet gave me enough health to survive it. Dude, I gotta pop one of these. Well, while we're here, I may as well look. Actually, I'm gonna head back. I have a lot of um, I know it. I know it is a waste of that, but I have a lot of goodies. I want to be able to cash those in. Anyway, yeah. So pyromancy in Dark Souls is like really interesting because it's the power of mankind. It's the power of humanity. 
Um, and like sorcery is, I feel like sorcery has a weird thing with its portrayal because like it's kind of uh, not just the like it's kind of not just soul magic, and I feel like even calling it soul magic is sort of a, a leftover from demon souls. Um, and it's supposed to be like the magic of the mind. All right, let's take a look at our. So, that costs 800 money. Let's see here. So, I can upgrade these. And it goes up by three. Good slash defense. So, that goes to 18. Nope. 10 to 13. Six to eight. So this gets three and a half. This gets two and a half. That almost doubles. Wow. Oh, but this is a class zero thing. So anyone can use this. So maybe that means that it's less good because it's not specialized. And this goes to 18. Wow. Hmm. I'll rock with this. And that does burn some salt as well. Hit me again. Am I misreading this? That says 19, right? Soldier's Poem. So what can I sell to you? Clothes. I'm gonna, let's see here. Six. Oh, it's light and heavy attack. Okay, six and some amazing scaling. 12 and some war scaling. So what's this then? I'll get rid of this. I feel like I don't really have much like use for a um I'll hold on to those. You know what? I won't. I will not hold on to them. I'm here for the fashion. So a soldier's poem. That's an interesting thing. Hmm. So what is a gray pearl for? A fancy thing, maybe? Hmm. Is it for like the ends of these? Because I feel like it's a little early to even give me one of those. I'm going to take this off. I like seeing my face for now. The art style is kind of ugly and grimy, but like it's growing on me. I mean, it makes sense that a... a like, come on, it's called Ska Studios. Of course it would look like this, you know? Hit stop is pretty good. Wow. Right. 
This so this guy was a problem before. So let's see how we do now. Well, I'm doing more damage, but only slightly. The swings though. <laughs> Every time. Okay. I'm going to go this way then. Is that infighting I just saw? Because hell yeah, my man. I love infighting. Oh. Hey, outsider. Need smithing? Can you give me better stuff? So what does this take? This takes locks of hair. So it looks like all of these take locks of hair to get to the first few levels. And then you need soldier's poems. So what do you sell? You sell me much of the same. Yeah. Back home, we'd forge fine instruments from pure living steel. What do I have here? Salvage, salvage, and salvage. That and memories. Back home. Okay. Give me your wits about you. So these are the three guys. The... Blacksmith gear. Interesting. So let's see here. Pouch of Saul will give me a hundred. So if we pop that, slide right in there, then hit our tree of skill, we can do something. Point of strength, what's here? Pikes, endurance, more endurance, strength and willpower. I thought we're just sliding up through here, and then, yeah, I guess I could go up to um, getting the upgraded sword. Gain five points of strength, and that costs five. Wow. And then, I don't know if I need to go sequentially on these, but I can work my way back down. Well, if I'm going to get it, I may as well grab this. Because I, I, I'll be honest, I do prefer swords. It's a little romantic and heroic of me, but I love a good sword. What can I say? So, um, that's another episode. I'm probably going to come ba right back. Um, after last episode, I took a break to, to eat some cereal. Uh, but I'm having a lot of fun with Salt and Sanctuary. Like, I feel like I have a new Souls game, and it is making the way to Elden Ring a lot easier. <laughs> Because uh, I recently played Hollow Knight, and uh, it is good, but it is not a Souls game. But yeah, like, uh, I'm Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Remember, you can buy this game yourself. Uh, support indie devs, especially such a small company. Um, especially when they're so ambitious and pretty consistent in their work. Um, but yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Uh, shout out to Scott Studios, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Have a good day.